Welcome back to Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious, and today we're cooking outside barbecue style. There is so many things you can cook on the barbecue, but I'm gonna start with shish kebabs. Everything I've purchased on the show today, I have purchased at the Dollar Tree. Love you, my Dollar Tree fans. Love seeing you every time I shop there. You know me by my name now. So we're gonna do shish kebabs. There's these cute little steaks uh, that they have there. Let's say they're ribeye steak. They're super, uber thin. They come in frozen section. And they're probably like a fourth of an inch thick. But they're perfect for doing little shish kebabs. So on our shish kebabs today, we're gonna use steak and onion. We have a barbecue. <laughs> and we're gonna cook them up on the barbecue. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these steaks up into smaller portions. I don't know if I'm actually cutting it, but <laughs> it's going through. So there we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some, or get some onion cut up. I'm just going to do it on the same place as my meat. Basically like that. Just like that. I'll set it back to the side. And I got some purple onions. Idaho grows a ton of onions. It's one of my favorite things driving by the fields with onions because it smells so good as they're getting ready to harvest them. You can pretty much pick onions up anywhere along the roadside when it's harvest season. All right, so we got our little shish kebabs. These are about $1.49. That's the dollar store, so this is the only thing that I didn't buy at the dollar store because I walked out without getting them. So I had to stop by Albertsons. They were $1.49 in Albertsons. So I've got the skewer, I've got a little piece of meat, and then I'm just gonna scissor it onto the shish kebab and push it down. And then add You know, a section of onion, because I like barbecued onions. Another piece of meat. Like I said, it's so tender. And ribeyes, and naturally, like, I think because there's a higher fat content or something in the meat, it's just naturally got a lot, it's a lot more tender. This will probably cook like in 10 minutes because this meat's so thin. Okay, I say that's good. There's like four pieces of meat and four onions on there. All right, so while I'm making these shish kebabs, I'm gonna do a couple shout outs. I just wanna thank you so much for the support you've given me as Jeannie B. Delicious on Trailer Park Cooking. Uh, Lucy Duke and Richmond, thank you so much. I love my fans. All right, so Here's our little shish kebabs dollar store material. We got onions. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of my beer on there while they're sitting on this tin foil. I've got some Memphis style barbecue stuff I got at the Dollar Tree. I don't know what's in it. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on. And then I'm gonna put some steak zesty blend sauce on there that I also got at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna pour some of this steak sauce over it. See, I lined the side of the table with tin foil so I can use it as a stove. So then I'm just gonna put the barbecue on. So I'm just gonna turn it down to like, I don't know, high-ish kind of temperature. And I'm going to take our little shish kebabs. And throw them on the grill. But the one thing I'm going to have cook while these shish kebabs are happening, since it's nothing that you can cook by itself, it's not really my recipe, is it's baked beans in a can. You can cook these right on the barbecuer. So I'm just gonna open the can. 
Okay, there's the beans in the can, and then I'm just going to take my little skewer and take the paper off and throw the beans in the middle of the barbecue. Instead of having the beans in the oven, they're in the barbecue. So we're going to check on the shish kebabs. They probably need to be turned by now. We're starting to see some bubbles come up in our beans. And we're just going to take and flip these shish kebabs. They look delicious. Looks like my sticks are burning up on the end, which is fine. All right, look at that. Our bean can's getting nice and hot. All right, so while my beans are cooking, I'm just gonna throw some pre-cooked bacon inside my beans. It's okay if the sauce runs over the side. I'm just adding a little bit more flavor to these baked beans. So our shish kebabs are ready, and our canned beans are ready. So we're just going to take them and put them on tin foil. Some of them got a little extra done. And we're just going to stick them right in the tin foil and close it up until everything else is ready. All right, so here's our little shish kebabs dollar store style. Mmm. It turned out pretty damn good. Now you can cook these for as long as you like. You can make them rare, medium rare, or well done. This one's a little bit on the well done side. meat super tender not chewy and it has the little crispy burnt edges on it which I love on a barbecue the onions are still kind of crispy which I really love just having the edges kind of soft and chewy and then crispy on the outside this is a perfect cheap way to make shish kebabs go to the dollar store in your town pick out their little frozen dollar meats that are frozen I bought like seven packages, so that's seven dollars an onion, which is probably like 50 cents. Nothing better than baked beans on a can cooked on your barbecue. And adding that little bit of bacon just gave them so much more flavor. Mmm. Thank you for watching Trailer Park Cooking. I'm Jeannie B. Delicious. Join me next time for another great rep recipe. Don't forget to like, share, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe. I love you my fans. I love you my trolls. You have an amazing day. Bye y'all.